What's up guys, Cody from Pink Gorilla here. It is August 17th and I've got some really cool stuff here at the Bellevue store that I'd like to share with you. First off, I have some 3DO games. If you've never seen the 3DO, here's a couple clips. Have you experienced the awesome power of the Panasonic Real 3DO system? Obviously. Yeah. The intense realism of Panasonic Real 3DO. Apparently. Or the mind-blowing graphics of Panasonic Real 3DO. Whoa. Definitely. Cool. The Real 3DO system from Panasonic. Real. Yes, that 3DO. So not only do we have some games here, we also have a system coming in. Uh, should be here day after tomorrow. Anyway, let's check out the games we got. First up, we got Burning Soldier, Gex, Space Hulk, Vengeance of the Blood Angels, Wing Commander, Heart of the Tiger, Stellar 7, Death. Draxon's Revenge. Uh, finally twisted the game show. So those are all cool semi-common games with hilarious titles. But we also got Iron Angel of the Apocalypse, The Return. That's actually a pretty rare 3DO game. And Cannon Fodder, the owner's personal, the owner of Pink Gorilla, his personal favorite game on the 3DO. Yeah, Cannon Fodder. It's kind of like, um, hmm, kind of like Worms. I'd say it's like Worms, but better. But anyway, that's the 3DO games I got. And like I said, I got a system coming in just two days. So if you're into this kind of stuff, check it out. And we actually have a lot more 3DO games than that. These are just some of the titles I picked out that look kind of cool. Uh, so look at our website under the 3DO section to see everything we've got. Also, besides the 3DO games, I have a whole bunch of Japanese Sega Dreamcast games. So these games are all in Japanese, no English option, and they won't play on an American Dreamcast. But some of you out there may have modded Dreamcast, and we also sell Japanese Dreamcast systems. So it's not impossible to play these games. So let's see, some of the cooler titles we got. Marvel vs. Capcom. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Space Channel 5. And Power Stone. All these games I believe you could play completely without knowing Japanese. And again, I know I mentioned this with the Zelda games, but I don't know what the deal is, but they always get like more interesting artistic covers than us. Uh, maybe not Space Channel 5, that's just kind of cool, it's all like sparkly and stuff. Uh, but check out JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. That is a truly bizarre cover. And finally, Marvel vs. Capcom. I really like the cluster of characters. And we also have this weird Sonic Adventure 2 birthday thing. Let's see, it's called the Sonic the Hedgehog Birthday Pack. Two days only, 2001, 6 slash 23 to 624. I, I don't really know much about this. I thought it might be fun to show it off with zero research and zero take, zero preparation, and to show you what this pack contains. So it's obviously some kind of anniversary deal for Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, looks like the 10th anniversary. And let's see what we got here. Ooh, sealed copy of the game. Again, it's Japanese, so, you know, you gotta have the right setup for it. And uh, here we have this interesting uh, display book with, of course, a soundtrack. What special edition would be complete without a soundtrack? Uh, whoop. We also have, let's see, what's up? Oh, it's like a Sonic timeline. So let's see here. It says, happy birthday, Sonic. It's June 23rd, 1991 to 2001 to the future. And it comes with this coin here. It's a pretty hefty uh, metal coin. It's pretty cool. And yeah, happy birthday, Sonic. Sonic still... Sonic still goes on evolving. I don't know, that, that, does that sound weird to you too? I don't know, it's Japanglish. But if only they knew about Sonic Boom. So sad. Anyway, so we got that cool anniversary collection. Definitely a collector's item for Sonic fans. I've, I think I've seen this one other time, but didn't, it didn't last long enough for me to actually see what was inside. So anyway, that's the cool stuff we got at the Bellevue store. Let's move on to some video game news. It looks like there's a pretty interesting new console popping up on the Chinese version of Kickstarter. It's called the Ouyi, O-U-Y-E, and it has the design of a PlayStation 4 and the controller of an Xbox One. They say they spent six months on this unique design. So obviously they just stole that. It's gonna have nothing on it. They claim it's gonna only cost $70. I'm gonna tell you, it's not even gonna come out ever. It's a scam. Uh, also, I just thought it was hilarious that not only is the design completely stolen, it's just a picture of a PS4, an Xbox One controller with like a couple extra buttons on it, the freaking name is stolen too. 
It's like the Ouya. O U Y A. Ouya. Whatever. Freaking stupid. So yeah, once again, there's no video game news to be had, but there is some video game store news. Yes, Pink Gorilla has a little bit of news. Uh, there is a vlogger fair going on the 22nd and 23rd. That's this Saturday and Sunday at Seattle Center. And Pink Gorilla will be present. Apparently, they're having some kind of like nerd night thing. I don't know. I've never been before. It should be fun, though. Uh, I will be there with old former employees, Colin and Paul. You might remember them from the Bellevue store. Uh, real cool guys. And we'll just be hanging out. Come talk to us. Uh, we'll have some cool little things there like uh, toys and candy and plushies. But yeah, come stop by and say hey to us. I think it's a pretty cheap event to get into. Follow that link if you want to get tickets and see the event. And besides that, PAX Prime is coming up. Can you believe it's only two weeks away? I can't wait. I think... I'm hoping they're gonna have a scale bound game demo there that I can play. Besides that, I don't really know what else I'm looking forward to. I I talked before I want to play Tony Hawk 5. Uh, if they have a demo there, I'm gonna be playing that for sure. Cause like I, I'm almost not on the fence about buying it. I want to buy it really bad, right? But I, I'm like almost positive it's gonna suck. So <laughs> I'd really like to play it in person just to like calm my nerves about it. And um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, can you guys please tell me what what is to look forward to at PAX this year? Last year it was Smash Bros. I was super hyped about that. And before, uh, what else was there? I don't know. I saw the Oculus before. That was cool. I wonder if they're going to have another event like that. Uh, anyway, it all should be pretty cool. Please tell me, what should I look forward to at PAX this year? Uh, and anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you... I'm off tomorrow. I'll see you the next day.